Hi everybody, welcome to uh, the Trudgeon household today. It's a big day for us today. We have got our new awning. We took delivery of it yesterday, um, but because of everybody being busy and having other things to do, we couldn't fit it on yesterday. So we're gonna whiz over to the caravan today and put it on. Now it's a bit of a logistical nightmare this one because the awning itself is a rollaway awning, which means it affixes to the side of the caravan. And what we had delivered yesterday was a four meter long box. Um, and on top of that we've got the poles and the sides as well so it's quite a lot to take over but what we need to do is we need to put the bulk of it on the roof rack on the car 12 seconds later right well there you go that's the awning tube put on the car quite possibly some of my best strapping skills ever in order to get the awning on we need to pull the van forward um, and obviously we can't get it on there because of the way it needs to go on the side so what we're going to do we're quite fortunate we're going to turn the motor mover on and we're just going to drag the caravan forward into this space here and install the awning on in this space here <laughs> put the awning down facing this way and now what we're going to do is we're going to unroll the roof across these uh, protective blankets that we've got here somebody forgot to bring the carpet for the awning hi and uh, so we're just making do with packing blankets and a couple of old sleeping bags which the dog sleeps on so what we're going to do now unroll it and then fit it on so once you unzip the main protector You've got little clips here which hold the roof in. Like so. And then it's folded around underneath itself so it's, it's a little bit counterclockwise when you unfold it. So that was quite easy to unfurl. What we've got to do now is just put on the bottom ends of these two poles. And these are the end roof bars and two of the corner legs. Right, I think we've got them around the right way. This part is not uncovered by the instructions anywhere. But I think we've got the poles put in the right places. We'll find out in a minute. Now is the interesting part of putting this actually onto the caravan. minutes later so anyway so it's up and it's on and uh, it looks all right actually doesn't it love mm. all we need to do now is just put the rest of the poles in but but as a shelter I mean when we're in the or when we're on the continent we just need to put a shelter up to just to cover us and get the Sun off of us that's gonna be really cool just like that isn't it yeah but obviously for UK stuff we want to make sure that we've got a bit of weather protection so we've got the sides to go on and we've got the rest of the poles to put in place so here we are inside and as you can see each one of the poles has its own little socket in place and what we're going to do now is we're just going to fit the rest of the, the poles in and uh, put some tension on this roof here. Okay so we've just got the, um, the extra poles in, they're not straight at the moment at all but we're not too worried about that because um, we're going to start moving things around and fiddling with stuff and I'm not sure we've got them in the right holes you can put these poles into one or two places so I'm not sure we've got them in the right one again this isn't covered in the instructions so uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to put the front on which slides into this channel here and then once that's on we can then attach the ends which go on the end Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Oh, 
Right, well, uh, a flat battery and uh, 10 minutes later, and as you can see, we've got the sides on. Let's walk around here. And there we go, that's a better understand. We haven't pegged it, we're not going to peg it, not for today. There's just no point. So, as you can see, we've got it in place. We just had to sort out a couple of um, bits and bobs, which we were a bit confused about, but I think that's looking pretty tidy. Let's go have a look inside. So here we are, we're inside, and as you can see, it's looking pretty good. We've taken that spreader bar out because we wanted to get the side on uh, a bit better. Um, we haven't put any of the vertical ones in place yet. That's what we're going to do now. We're going to put one up against the side of the van there. Um, and I don't know, where, where else do you think we should put one? What? The vertical yeah. poles? I don't know yet. Okay. It's looking really good in there, isn't it? Mm. We've obviously got to put this one on yet, but I think that's looking pretty tidy. Yeah. It feels quite big actually now, doesn't it? It does. Well, there you go. As you can see in the background, that's the new awning. That is our uh, Rollaway 400 awning, which we've purchased uh, through Quest Leisure. Um, and this particular awning was delivered to us from Camping International. And uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. Yep. You're happy with it? I am. Good investment? A very good investment. Cheaper than the other one. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing, you see, this is replacing our air awning. So we've got um, a Camper Air Pro 390, and this is going to replace our um, air awning. And, and the reason why we wanted to do this is because, well, we needed a more versatile, didn't we? Yeah. This one you can change around a lot more. It's more configurable because if you don't want the full awning up, we don't have to put it up and we we've got plans for doing a, a nice touring holiday where we mm. stay at a site for a couple of nights and then move on um, and something that we've got planned in the near future is a tour of um, Ireland the southern part of Ireland and we couldn't put an air awning up every other night and down again up Too again much hassle. <laughs> and we definitely need an awning right yeah because of the dog dog and of course if Tom comes with us that's he needs baseball. somewhere to sleep yeah that's true that's true <laughs> Um, so this is, you know, this is downside more um, usable for us because, you know, we just got um, more options. You don't have to have the full awning up, you can close part of it off and have the other half open. And no doubt in future videos when uh, we use it, um, you'll see it. Um, but I mean, today is literally just being a, a case of us installing it onto the caravan mm -hmm. and getting used to it. And having our first trial run. <laughs> and we didn't do too bad because we forgot the instructions. <laughs> Sorry, let me rephrase this. I forgot the instructions. <laughs> and um, I think we didn't do too bad, you know. Mm. Um, it's just a couple of things of, oh, I don't know if I've got that in the right place. Should we move that? You know, it's lots of fiddling and fettling around, which yeah. everybody gets on a brand new awning anyway. So, you know, we, we certainly yeah. had this with the air awning, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And we still don't know what some of those loops do. <laughs> no. Well, there we go. That's the uh, that's the air, not, not the air awning at all. That is the uh, Quest Leisure Rollaway 400 installation. Hope it's been of use to you guys. It's been a learning curve for us too, hasn't it? <laughs> yeah. And nearly, nearly an argument. No. Not really. <laughs> all right. Let's go Just get some. Being silly. Let's get some water. And can I please have some antihistamines? Yeah, when we get home. Oh. Bye, everybody. Nice colour, isn't it? <laughs> Very reflective. <laughs> Especially when you haven't got sunglasses. Yep. Yeah. Cool.